What's going on, Team Elite? Welcome to this week's Team Elite Weekly Call. Uh, David here. How would you guys uh, like to get caught up for the LVA and this this Life Manage Academy that just happened last weekend, and get your week off, get your week started off right? Well, in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of catching up from the Life Manage Academy. We're also going to be doing a training on don't are you confusing doing the work with doing the work. And are your habits uh, making success inevitable for you, right? So that's some of the things we're going to be talking about today. Um, I was just chatting with uh, one of our teammates, Izzy, before we started recording on uh, the Life Manage Academy. We had Russell and Tracy Blanche there, and they are they were it was a they're a power pack couple. It was an incredible meeting. They are they're. They're phenomenal. They're hilarious. They brought their story. They brought their own flair. And Russell was sharing with us some of the depths of the comp plan. Apparently, you can you can double and triple dip in this comp plan. So whenever you get to Pro Five, for those of you that don't know, whenever you reach Pro Five, you can call the the corporate headquarters and you can say, "Hey, I just got to Pro Five. I would like to open up my second business center." So your initial position. You know, you've been building your business with all these people um, up until Pro 5. And then whenever you say, hey, I'd like to open up my second business center, then the company will give you another you. So basically, your second business center is almost essentially like recruiting somebody else, but it's you. So you can double dip on the comp plan. Um, now you start recruiting and you start putting people underneath the second business center. Okay. Now, I didn't know this. Um, apparently, you have to recruit people using your first ID number. Otherwise you're going to miss out on the initial bonus because the second business center only, um, it only, uh, it only is allowed to have to earn money in, in just two ways. And that's the unit level. And that's also the elite bonus pool. Okay. Now here's another cool thing. Once you get to pro seven, then you can call the company and say, uh, I want to open up my third business center and you could either put that front line to you, but if you want to triple dip, which I really recommend if you want more money, it's a lot easier this way. Just go ahead and have them put that sec third business center under your second business center and then start recruiting and putting people up underneath that third business center. So then you can be earning the uh, unit level not only once, twice, three times. It's crazy. And whenever, um, like on, on your very first business center, the compensation plan, the unit level bonus plan, <clears throat> pays out generation wise 2%, 5%, 9%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%. So your second business center is up there in that 2% range. Your third center, uh, BC3, is in your 5% range. And then all of those customers below them are the 9%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%. And so you're kind of getting all of that, like the business center two and the business center three, they showed it there. Um, they all have their own 2%, 5%, 9%, um, and then 2%, 5%, 9%, all the way down. So it gets pretty crazy. Like, let's say some of those distributors in BC2 start getting their own customers and start getting their own team going. You're going to have all of that 2%, 5%, 9% from all of their customers as well. Uh, and the same thing with Business Center 3. So two things to keep in mind there. You can double, double dip, triple dip on the comp plan. Um, they, but however, the BC2 and BC3 do not earn like the, uh, the fast start bonus, which is the initial sign up bonus. So always enroll people with your first ID number. Okay. Otherwise you'll miss out on that. Um, and then just place the people down below them. So that's what I learned about that. Um, there's a lot of also good nuggets that, that I got from there. Let me skim through my notes real quick and, uh, see if I got anything I wanted to share with you. Um, reprogramming your brain. That was really good. So at first, just let me let you guys know a little bit about, of their backstory. They had done um, two other network marketing companies before Life Vantage, and they failed at both. Of them. They they didn't they didn't uh, make a decision. They didn't decide to lead in those other companies. They were just kind of testing the waters. So after they got burned on those, then Tracy for sure wrote the entire industry off. And so she, in her programming of her brain, she was always like, those things don't work for us. We're never going to do another one, yada, yada. And uh, Russell, 
he down the line somewhere down the line met a good friend up in Colorado that's where they lived uh he met a guy named Bert De Bruyce. and for those of you that know Bert I just put a big smile on your face Bert's an incredible guy um but Bert he just loved the idea of network marketing companies so he always came to Russell and said hey I a new one, you know, check this out. This may be a good opportunity for you. He never really joined many of them, but he showed, he showed them to Russell. And so Russell said, yeah, sure. Let's go, let's go, let's go take a look. He always kept an open mind. They went out to lunch and Russell looked at dozens of different network marketing companies and videos. And all of them were just kind of bleh, just kind of meh, you know, just not that great. So whenever, finally, whenever, um, Bert came to him with this, with the ABC news report, Russell was like, huh, that's interesting. That was the, the only one out of all of those, it was dozens of videos that caught his attention. That was interesting. So he went home to Tracy and she was like, oh, I don't wanna, don't wanna watch another one of your stupid videos. And uh, <laughs> um, uh, Russell was like, just watch the video, just watch the video. So she's sitting there, she's watching it. And, and um, I mean, if you've seen it, then you know the opening line from John Quinones, um, would you like to gain an edge on turning back the clock without, you know, uh, by taking a few pills? <laughs> well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility. And so that, that perked her up. She was like, well, yeah, of course I would like to do that. And so she actually watched it and all the way through to the end, then she asked him, you know, as, as a non-interested as she could, well, did you get some? <laughs> and he was like, no, I haven't done anything yet. I don't even have any product available yet. Um, so anyways, reprogramming your brain her brain was completely programmed in the opposite direction and she didn't want anything to do with this. She told him you can go to the meeting, but don't sign up. Um, Russell actually got started. I didn't know this, but he got started by investing in the stock first. His first meeting was with, uh, with Tyler Daniels and he was talking about how it's a stock. It's a publicly traded company and a stock is like 23 cents. So he bought, he was like, Oh, wow, that's cool. So I can buy, I can actually buy stock. So he bought a bunch of stock and then he was like, well, you know, a couple of days later, you might as well sign me up as a distributor because I'm already invested in the company, <laughs> you know? So that was his deal. And in the beginning for him, Russ was actually basically selling the stock. You should take a look at this. You can buy stock. It's 23 cents right now. It looks like it's going to be a big deal later on. So that's how he got started. And then whenever the chicks started coming in, that's whenever he started shifting his focus from the stock to the product. Um, and then good thing after good thing happened, Russell and Tracy went to meetings, they found good people, they found that they actually had product, the checks were coming in. So over time, Tracy started to reprogram her mind to, hey, maybe we could do this, maybe we could make this happen. Maybe this could actually happen for us. So if you're, if you're the person that is always doubting yourself, I can't win, I'm never gonna be up there on that stage, those people have something that I don't, I want you to stop that. That's not serving you at all. That's just a gigantic waste of time. <laughs> Those people up on the stage, you got to ask yourself, have they done anything that I cannot do myself? And that's a no. That's a no, because it's very simple. There are even Amish people, you guys, that have made, that have made it to Pro 7 and 8 in this company. And if the Amish people can do it, you can do it yourself. So the second main point that they made was make a decision make a decision. Their change of mind was they made a decision to leave. Um, they always say that the person at the front of the room is making the most money. So what they did, they never had a whiteboard. So they went out and bought a whiteboard. They bought a mark. They bought some markers. They opened the markers. They started scribbling things on the marker and that positioned them in a place of authority and leadership. And so basically if you buy whiteboards and markers, you'll make a lot of money. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's a lot more to it than that, but make a decision. They bought, they bought the stuff. They prepared themselves for the future uh, to lead. And now look at where they're at. They're pro eights, they're pro five, they're pro four, they're double and triple dipping on the comp plan. Okay. Um, so make a decision and remember that you can do it too. They, they're, they're up on the stage and they're not doing anything that you can't do. Um, identify your why. That's a big, that's a big part of, of success. Okay. If you need a, a, a check, a reminder on why you're um, building the business or on, you know, if you just started as well too, one of the first things that you got to do is why are you doing this? Okay. Why, why do you want more money? And then you got to ask yourself, why is that important to you? All right. Why is that important to you? I know you want to make more money, but what do you want to do with it? Why is that important to you? 
and then ask yourself that, why is that important to you a few times? And you'll figure out, you'll finally figure out why you want more money. Why is it important to you? What's your purpose? All right. Those are the things that keep you up at night and it will cause you to, to drive yourself, right? To stay motivated, to continue to be um, uh, purpose driven. Okay. So another big point, set realistic expectations. All right. Let's see here. If you only make, all right, this, this was a good point that they made. The elites were asked how much time that they consistently put into this, into building their business, getting to pro, getting to pro seven, um, to their elite status. And they found that it was an average that they said of 15 to 20 hours per week that they were invested into this. Okay. That they were putting their time into this. Now, if I asked you, how many, how many hours um, would you expect to put into this if you wanted to make a lot of money? Would you say 30, 40, 50, 60 hours? You might, because that's the way that we are, are, are programmed, are trained, just because of our, our, um, our, our normal hourly jobs. Well, this is a different industry. This is, an, this is an industry where you can multiply your time, multiply your efforts without exactly having to put in more time. So these elites, all of these elites had a regular full-time job while they were building their business on the side. So as long as you are consistent, that's the bigger picture. If you can consistently put in about 15 to 20 hours a week and think about that, that's about two to three hours a day. And all that is, is making phone calls, doing personal development, calling people, texting people, doing some meetings, um, doing some three-way calls, that simple sort of stuff. This business is not complicated. It's just doing the same things over and over and over again and over again. Following up, that's a big part of it. Um, and then take inventory of your week. I really encourage you to do this too. If you are not happy with your success, look at your activity for the week, all right? Look at how much time that you have put into it during the week. And if it's not close, I mean, if it's less than 10 hours, then you shouldn't wonder why you've had the results that you have. Okay. If you're not talking to people, if you're not reaching out to people if and making one to two calls a day, then you should be happy with the results that you have. If you're not, then all you got to do, it's real simple. All you got to do is just up your activity, up the amount of time that you're working on your business. Now that's, that's easy, right? That's easy. It's clear. It's clear what we have to do. Okay. Don't make it more complicated than, than it has to be, which leads me into my, into my, my talk for today, uh, my training. Don't confuse doing, uh, preparing to do the work with doing the work. All right. Ray Higdon talks about this and uh, I thought it was really important for me to pass it on to you guys. There are so many people out there, like you can be busy in this industry and never get a darn thing done. Okay. Are you in the place where you are so busy, you feel like you're busy, you feel like you're doing stuff, you're not really getting any results, you're not really getting any, any, um, you're not even talking to anybody, but you feel busy. Is that you? If it is, that's okay. I was there too. I got frustrated and overwhelmed looking for shortcuts, looking for ways to make this faster without me actually having to talk to people. <laughs> now, I'm still doing things that provide me uh, efficiency. Don't confuse efficiency with shortcuts, right? Efficiency is different. Efficiency is where you can do things, the same things, marketing, um, and, uh, and building websites or whatever that cause um, multiplying your time, okay? I recommend that you do that, that just in the future, Pro 3 and, and Pro 4. Until then, you don't really need to worry about doing um, any, any websites or anything like that. Even, I mean, there's, there's elites that never made a website. <laughs> um, anyways, if you want to know more, more about that, then just reach out to me, ask me questions about, uh, about marketing and about uh, Facebook videos and building an online blog. That stuff works, okay? Um, but in the beginning, all it is, is just invite and enroll from pro zero to pro three. It's just invite and enroll. So are you confusing preparing to do the work with doing the work, right? Things that are preparing to do the work are organizing your lists, buying a tripod for your, for your camera, buying a new camera uh, to do videos. Um, it's learning, it's training. Uh, anything preparing to do the work is not actually doing the work. 
in this industry actually doing the work are three main things okay it's prospecting which is reaching out to other people it's doing the video okay it's marketing so prospecting marketing and personal development those three main things right and as long as you follow our system which marcel and the godfathers of this company have laid it out very clearly it's do the work which means 15 presentations a month or more it's showing up to the events uh, one a month and uh number three is always do what you say that you're going to do here's how simple our system is do what you say that you're going to do number four is staying in control of your business and number five is promoting the events it's a simple five-step system that anybody can follow it's just principles and behaviors and as long as you can do those things then you will have success guaranteed it's guaranteed do those five things that you're going to have success in this industry okay um and that's not just with live finance too that's actually the numbers with with every company because it with just network marketing in general um, now there are some other things that that i recommend that you do as well too like following up okay following up if you don't follow up then you're working too hard and if you if you if you follow up in a bad way like if you just send somebody a text message that pisses them off or whatever a bad follow-up is better than no follow-up at all Okay. Um, and also if you're not following up, then you're losing about 98% of your income. You're missing out on the big money. Okay. You're missing out on 98% of your income. Only 2% of people will sign up on the first exposure. So it means follow up if you want to see 98% of the, of the money that's coming to you. Okay. So I really highly, obviously recommend following up. I recommend that you keep track. You write down the people that you prospect, did they respond? Did you send them a presentation? Did you have a presentation with them? Uh, and how many presentations did you do for the month? Those are the things that I, excuse me, those are the things that I recommend that you keep track of, write them down. That way you can go back and you can assess your numbers and you can also re reach out to the people that have responded to you in a positive way. And the last deal that I recommend is that personal development. Okay. Personal development every day, pour into yourself. Gosh, it's so important. How much time during the day, and I gotta ask myself this too, how much time during the day do I waste on things that don't serve me, on things that don't really help me reach my goals, right? Now, what if we just shifted over 15 minutes into something that pours into us, something that's food for the soul, something that helps you to grow? If your cup is more full, aren't you able to pour out more from your cup? Yeah, you are. So that's how this whole thing works, you guys. Those three main things, just focus on those three main things a day and you'll win, okay? Prospecting, marketing, and personal development. Those three main things. If you do those three main things, then this whole thing will fall in line for you, okay? If you want a system, if you want a guideline, then go back to our teamleadfamily.com and click in the start here section and click the, um, the checklist. That checklist is very well laid out. It's got almost all the answers to how to get you started, how to get your website set up, how to get you the fundamentals, um, the, the, to help you lay the groundwork, to start your business, to put your business on top of. And uh, it gives you the system as well too. And also it gives you a couple of good starting, uh, starting training videos that, that teach you how to do all of the main, uh, the main activities, the main uh, behaviors. So again, that's, that's also, that's not only on our website, teamleadfamily.com, but it's also in our Facebook group. So if you, if you are in the Facebook group, the Team Lead Facebook group, it's in the unit section in the, ta uh, in the unit number one. Okay, you can find it there. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, last thing I wanted to share with you guys. Is your habits, is your daily habits, your daily activities causing success to be inevitable for you? So whenever you reach success, what I mean by that is whenever you reach pro six, pro seven, whatever you want, whenever you're talking on the stage and people ask you, what did you do to get there? Are they going to be, are they going to be surprised that you're there or are they going to say, oh yeah, obviously if you did those things, then obviously you're going to be a pro seven. Obviously you're going to have success. So <laughs> if you're the person um, that is wondering, what do you do to get there? Then just ask yourself, what would you say to that person if they asked you, what did you do to get there? Okay, what does that look like? So obviously, you're going to have success if you do 
blank and blank and blank and blank. So let's talk about it. If you are prospecting 10 to 15 people a day, obviously you're going to have success. If you are putting out a marketing video, you know, once a week, once a day, then obviously you're going to have success. If you're following up with those people and you're keeping track of what you do, then obviously you're going to have success. If you show up to the meetings, if you promote the meetings, then obviously you're going to have success, right? <laughs> if you don't do those things, then are people going to be surprised? Or would you be surprised if you, if you created success? You probably would. <laughs> I would be surprised. I'd be like, oh my gosh, how did they get there? <laughs> um, so that's it, you guys. Just go through the system, do the system, um, do the work, follow the system in the proving plan, sorry, in the, uh, in the building depth and in the checklist. It's just 15 presentations a month or more. Show up to the, to the company events, do what you say that you're going to do, stay in control of your business, promote the events. That's it, you guys. If you do those things, over and over and over again consistently, then obviously you're going to have success, okay? Um, pro four, pro fives. There were two pro fives that stood up at the Life Energy Academy and they, at, they were asked what would be one word if they could say just one word that would, that, would, um, that would encapsulate most of their success. Both of them said consistency, all right? That was kind of surprising to me. Both of them said consistency. Actually, it wasn't that surprising. I was going to say consistency myself, but I hope that this video helped you guys. If you need to re-listen to it and then go through it again, um, sometimes we just need somebody to help motivate us. Go through this once or twice. Obviously, you're going to have success if you do the things that we talked about. So I want you to get those things ingrained in your mind. And, uh, and if you have any questions at all, if there's anything that I can do for you, if there's anything that you need from me, then give me a call um, and I will be there to help you guys. Okay. so. I love you. I, uh, I'm very appreciative of you. Don't forget to, uh, let's do two uh, announcements real quick. Don't forget the Team Elite Christmas party coming up December 7th, I believe. Uh, yes, December 7th, the Team Elite Christmas party, okay? If you need more information on that, reach out to me. I'll get that over to you. And, there, and for tonight, announcement number two, uh, Rob Smolik Pro 7 has invited us our team into his um, into his opportunity meeting tonight. So I'm going to be getting you over the Zoom link and the time, date and time, uh, for that opportunity meeting tonight. So here's your chance to to do the work. Here's your chance to um, to to cause everybody to say, well, obviously, if you invited people to the, you know, if you've been inviting people to those meetings, then obviously you're going to have success. Here's your chance tonight. It's tonight at eight. Okay, uh, eight p.m. Central. Standard Time. I'll get you over that link here in a little bit, and uh, and I'll see you guys uh, in the comments, in the chat, and on the next video. I love you guys. Give me a call if you need any help at all, and I'll see you all later. Bye.